Fights in the hallways and disruptions in class. School districts returning to in-person instruction have seen an uptick in bad behavior. But last night, the Pittsburgh Public School Board decided against stricter punishments. And KDK investigator Andy Sheehan asked the acting superintendent how order can be restored. The board meeting on student behavior descended into disorder itself. I just want you board members to be able to go into those schools when all this stuff is going on. No, Let's see how much you do. No, no, yeah, I'm out no, of order. No, I am out, out of order. order. And I admit, this I'm is out, out of order. Of order. But when the dust settled, the board would not reinstate stricter discipline, leaving acting superintendent Wayne Walters to find other ways to restore order and put an end to scenes like this. Well, our board has spoken, and so our board is the, you know, their role is policy. And so now that we're aware of where the board stands with policy, then we work on those interventions and supports for our entire district. And while those returning students have been more disruptive than years past, KDKA has learned there are far fewer of them. Since the beginning of the pandemic, total enrollment in the district has fallen from 22,665 to the current 20,350, a two-year decrease of more than 10 percent. And those figures include a growing pre-K enrollment, but this year's K through 12 enrollment has fallen below 20,000 for the first time, 18,981. Well, certainly trust is a huge issue. We know that during the pandemic, you know, parents did use their feet. Board members have given Walters high marks for solving the district's transportation and technology problems and returning the students to class. But now he's faced with ensuring a safe environment while striving for higher academic standards. Of course, first with elevating quality teaching and learning again, making sure that our technology structures are up to par, and really sort of functioning, focusing on a plan of what we're going to do as a district to really move that agenda forward and make us more attractive. Walter says the roots of these disruptions run deep and the district alone can't solve it. It'll take the entire community. Reporting at the Board of Education, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.